Okay, well, I'm going to have to apologize for the shaky camera here. I am, uh, apparently my suction cup uh, mount, which I have not used in months and months, got lost somewhere in the uh, shuffle of moving. So I'm holding this with my hand. I have picked up a nifty muffin for breakfast and coffee since everything that I need to make coffee resides in the trunk of Phil's car, which is a huge irritation to me, actually, because I couldn't make coffee this morning. So I drank orange juice, as you already know. But I've got the uh, trailer tied on, and we're headed out to Enid, just making the turn out to Lambert. Right there. And uh, we're gonna head on down the road. I also, um, slightly irritating, uh, went to Senex this morning to get straps so I could tie down whatever I put on the trailer because the vast majority of my straps are in the big pickup, which Roman has, or are out at Enid holding things down. So I'm just kind of hoping that I can find enough straps and ropes when I get out there to get everything tied down. So, we got about a half hour drive here, a little ways to go, not far. Um, don't know if you guys have seen my blazer yet, but uh, I'm I'm gonna have to talk to Roman, because I don't have internet, so I can't even look at my, I can't even look at my YouTube right now, uh, unless I get on my Blackberry. But, uh, that's right, I have a Blackberry. I, Wayne Wick, have gotten a smartphone. Setting the cruise. Uh, but anyways, so I'm if I have not shown it to you, I will have to do that at some at some venture. I'm not entirely certain though. But anyways, uh, onward ho! We are just passing the subdivisions and headed up the hill, and then we've got about uh, 30 miles. So let's get moving. Well, here we are. We made it out to uh, what we call the shack. And uh, you probably start to see some familiar, familiar faces out here now. Um, bumpy here, but we'll get her shut down. Okay. We basically just took all the big stuff that we own and brought it out here. They say familiar faces. You see the '57, which. The window is down on for one reason or another. That's a little odd. Uh, and this will come in probably this winter. Obviously the four-wheeler here, which is what I'm here to get. Uh, the brown cow is out here. Um, it dropped a valve. And the clattering ranger, uh, the cub cadet, golf cart, uh, my new tiller that I finally got running, um, Kayla's Cadillac, Spitfire, Cyclone, Danger Ranger, which is well and good, but it's packed full of stuff, and it's just another one of them things. This one will probably just sit out here. It's a good standby. The 68, you see over there, we've got uh, the 4 liter in the back of that. Phil's Ranger, Phil's Bronco. Which, uh, he's not driving right now because uh, it's because he's uh, got the LeBaron. The Eddie Bauer, um, which the motor for that's over over by the uh, by the house, the shack, which unfortunately is not livable, or else Phil would probably be living in it. Got the 43 and the 40 under the tarp here, and um. I guess at this point, I've got to try and find some straps. I'm hoping Phil left some in the back of his bra. Well, there's the shack. Car dolly there. Let's see, uh, start seeing some of the other toys that we got parked over here just so they're kind of not being all blown over and everything. The 84. And uh, my prides and joy. My snowmobiles. But we are out here 
not to get any of that, but uh, I'm going to add Kayla's sled, which has a busted ball joint there, but still there. It looks like the cows have been around for sure. It's kind of kind of cool. The uh, neighbors, you know, they run cows, of course. Um, and this thing, of course, it just fired right up. We haven't had any troubles with this. This one is a bit of a bugger, but it went. Now I'm curious, Phil said it just died right here, but I don't know what there is to that. Mm, looks like the cow's knocked over the target. I'm going to try to start it, just for kicks and laughs, because I can. Relatively certain it's out of fuel, but Ooh, maybe Hmm, I don't know how hard I'm gonna try not real excited about it Nope, I'm over it Puma, on the other hand, this thing's just such a magical little sled. Oh, maybe not. That one fired right up. That's a, that's a fantastic little sled. But we'll go in the shack where we put all of the uh, motor parts and I guess the straps for the car dolly and everything are here. Trap flinger, we've been shooting some skeet this year. Uh, and the one I was after, the uh, 175. So. I will, uh, oh, there's the kitty cat, forgot about that. So, I guess I will get that, uh, 175 loaded up, and I guess if there's room, I'd like to bring one of my engine stands with me, but, I don't know, we'll have to see. Really kind of sucks this stuff all has to be out in the weather, but not much else we can do at the moment and yes I'm sure by now some of you have seen this but uh, this is Phil's and the last time he tried to start it he ran the battery down because the gas was drained out of the car because he only runs it about once every month or so and so it was a little cold I guess we can try it but I got my doubts and I don't have a set of jumper cables so not a whole lot we can do there Yeah, that ain't gonna happen. And I don't feel like swapping a battery out of the truck or something, so I'm just gonna leave it be. It's got a pretty wicked 304 in it. And you'll hear it eventually, but it needs tires like nobody's business. It goes like a raped ape. But anyways, so that's that, and I guess we'll uh, go ahead and get back to town after I get that bike loaded up. So, till another time, I'll see you guys later.